to today's session and today we'll be talking about using a CO2 meter to assess ventilation. So let's take a look at ventilation in swine barns. Uh, we see first of all that good ventilation is important to reduce the incidence of respiratory disease and to improve pig comfort. So in pig housing, we have waste that can break down to release noxious gases such as ammonia and poor ventilation rates will allow these gases to build up which may result in discomfort and damage to the nasal linings which may then cause an increase in respiratory disease. Secondly, we know from the COVID-19 outbreak that aerosol disease transmission of respiratory pathogens between people in close contact indoors is greatly decreased in areas with good ventilation. It is therefore important to apply this knowledge too to swine farming. And finally, we should be aware that we should balance air quality with thermal comfort of the animals. Overventilating of an area can lead to a decrease in temperature and increased heating costs. So over here on the right, we have a photo of a CO2 meter. A CO2 meter, as the name suggests, allows us to measure CO2 carbon dioxide levels. Animals exhale carbon dioxide and so when ventilation is poor, carbon dioxide builds up rapidly and we can measure this on our CO2 meter. When we use a CO2 meter, we need to know what the baseline is and normally for a baseline, we would use the ambient air concentration of 400 ppm. In general, uh, in the barn, we would try not to exceed 1500 ppm, the higher the level indicating the more CO2 has built up. Where do we take measurements? First of all, we should take measurements at different points in the barn. Different areas may have different rates of ventilation. Uh, one suggestion would be that we can take them at the front of the pen, behind the pen, and uh, at different points in the barn. So in the front, back and middle. And certainly, we, we also recommend that the ventilation system is tested at different settings. So we can, for example, set the ventilation system to maximum ventilation, take a set of readings and then set it to minimum ventilation and take a set of readings because we would expect quite a difference in these readings and it's most often at the minimum ventilation settings when issues start to appear but certainly we've seen instances before where even at the maximum ventilation settings these are inadequate. Uh, here we see that higher CO2 levels would suggest poorer ventilation compared to lower CO2 levels and one interesting thing to note is that areas of poorer ventilation may explain improper defecation areas, remembering that pigs will defecate at areas where they feel discomfort uh, and choose to lie down in areas where they feel more comfortable. So areas of poorer ventilation identified on the CO2 meter uh, may help to explain these improper defecation patterns. Therefore, in summary, um, getting ventilation right is important for good pig health and comfort. Um, we need to take CO2 measurements. These are a fast and practical way to assess ventilation in pig barns. Um, we should try to balance air change rate, which is our ventilation rate, with the thermal comfort of the animals. And then we suggest to take multiple measurements at different locations, times and ventilation settings to get an accurate picture of your ventilation through CO2 measurement. Thank you for your attention.